Have you ever pondered why the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, despite their vast interconnectedness, refuse to mix? Picture this, the Atlantic, the world's second largest ocean spanning over a hundred million square kilometers, and the Pacific, the largest, stretching twice as wide. Both colossal neighbors sharing the same planet, the same water cycle, yet they remain distinct. Their waters, a testament to nature's enigmatic ways. So what keeps these massive aquatic expanses apart? Now let's delve into the science that keeps these massive bodies of water separate. Unseen to the naked eye, a natural barrier exists between these two oceans. But what creates this unseen wall? Well, it's a tale of science and nature working together in a fascinating way. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, despite being vast bodies of water, have inherent differences that prevent them from seamlessly merging into one. Firstly, we have temperature. The Atlantic tends to be warmer than the Pacific, and this difference in temperature contributes to a disparity in their densities. Warmer water is less dense, which means it tends to stay above the colder, denser water. Next up, we have salinity, the amount of salt in the water. The Atlantic is saltier than the Pacific. This extra salt increases the water's density, making it heavier and less likely to mix with the less salty and thus less dense Pacific waters. Lastly, density, a factor influenced by both temperature and salinity, plays a vital role. The colder, saltier water of the Atlantic is denser than the Pacific water. This difference in density creates a layering effect, much like oil floating on water. These differences culminate in the formation of a halocline, a sort of underwater boundary layer where there's a drastic change in salinity and temperature. The halocline acts as a barrier, preventing the waters from mixing, much like an invisible wall. So this invisible barrier, the halocline, acts as a mediator, maintaining the distinct identities of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. In a nutshell, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, though seemingly identical, possess unique characteristics that prevent them from mixing. These two oceanic giants, despite bordering each other, keep their identities intact, a testament to the fascinating complexities of our natural world. Let's jog our memories a bit. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans differ significantly in terms of temperature, salinity and density. The Atlantic, warmer and saltier, contrasts with the cooler, fresher Pacific. These differences, far from trivial, create a barrier known as a halocline, a kind of aquatic Berlin Wall that keeps the two oceans distinct. This halocline, a layer of water where the salinity changes rapidly with depth, acts as a deterrent, preventing the two bodies of water from mixing. It's not an ironclad barrier, but it's enough to maintain the individual characteristics of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. So next time, when you gaze upon the vast expanse of the ocean, remember, there's more than meets the eye, and each ocean holds its own secret identity.